Race number four of the afternoon, the Ron Butch Pickram Pace. Don't stand in my way. Whistling Cricket, Camco Willow. Run for the money, top of free trade, and I'm a miracle. They're off and uh, pacing and quick off the wings. Top of her trade gets the first call from the far outside. I'm a miracle leaving uh, sharply down on the inside. That's don't stand in my way as they race into that first turn and on by the opening eighth. They're led on to the Redland Farms backstretch for the first time. By top of her trade, uh, outside and continuing is I'm a miracle second in the pocket. Don't stand in my way gets away facing a third. Then at the rail in four, we find Camco Widow. Further on back to an unhurried Whistlin' Cricket who paces along in five with one beaten in the early going. That is run for the money. The field continues to lead three eights and now taking over the lead. That's I'm a miracle by a length and a half on top of free trade as they race single file off the top turn. 28 seconds flat was that opening quarter as they continue into the stretch. Now approaching the half, I'm a miracle is the leader. Popping out of the pocket now. That is Topper for Trade looking to recapture the lead. In the pocket third now is Don't Stand in My Way, followed by Cam Willow pacing along in four. Fifth and to the outside goes Run for the Money. And gapped out at the back in six is Westland Cricket into the lower turn. They head to the five eights now. And I'm a miracle under pressure from the first over attacker, top of her trade. Locked in the box there. Don't stand in my way. Second over now is run for the money. Pacing along in four and uh, will step out three high. On down the back stretch. Final time approaching three quarters to half in 58. And run for the money in the three wide pass. Sweeping up now to take the lead as they race past the three quarters. That's run for the money. Opening up on the front is drying clear now by four. Inside, I'm a miracle. Try to hang in there. Second, outside, third is top of her trade. Still nowhere to go for Don't Stand in My Way at the rail in four. Fifth on the outside and stepping three high. Cam Coelho and Whistling Cricket is at the back, but the story up front, run for the money, looking to give Heath Campbell career victory number 5,700 and has a wide margin as they drive down the lane. It's all run for the money. Heath Campbell, his third winner of the afternoon, career-wise win number 5,700, finishing second, Don't Stand in My Way, and third is top of her trade. Modern 150, eight and two fifths. Raceway is pleased to have with us this afternoon MLA Steve Craig for Sackville Cobbequid and Dave Ritzy MLA for Truro Bible Hill Millbrook Salmon River joining for the fourth race 
presentation in Victory Lane. The fourth race is the Ron Butch Pickram at pace. And the winner of that pace, run for the money, now back into Victory Lane. Four-year-old we'll Bay daughter of sports writer. Owned by Scott Green and uh, Jeff Lilly, trained by Chris Davies, Heath Campbell, picking up his third winner of the afternoon and his 5700th in his career. Heath got his first driving victory here at Truro Raceway, and he also gets his 5700th here at Truro Raceway. Congratulations, Heath. Run for the money in the Ron Butch Pickram Pace in 158 and 2. Butch Pickram had a passion for harness racing that spanned some 65 years in the early days. Butch uh, helped out Chickie Charlton at Sackville Downs and here at Turrell Raceway on race days. Butch worked for established trainers in Ontario as well in Bill Wellwood and Andre Boucher. He returned to Sackville Downs and began driving. He went behind the starting gate 599 times in his driving career, reg registering 102 driving victories. He drove primarily for Don Ratchford which his favorite horse to drive was Kawartha Apache. Trackside, 